Guys, f stupid ass AI robots and fake frame generation technology. Apple's open source AI, although that is pretty sweet, but this is a huge deal in comparison. AMD GPUs can now run native CUDA code. If you don't know what that means, that means that AMD GPUs now have the ability to run any GPU accelerated workloads that were only available to NVIDIA graphics cards previously. This means that as AMD graphics cards owners, we don't have to starve when it comes to running and training AI models on our graphics cards, like Stable Diffusion or Llama or Mistral or, or Alpaca or any of the new AI LLMs that come out next. It means that we will finally not be treated as second class citizens in the GPU world. This isn't financial advice, but I recommend buying AMD graphics cards right now because there will likely be a premium in an increase on the price of these things, especially in the used market. So according to this article, AMD has been quietly funding a drop-in CUDA implementation that was built on Rockham. And if you don't know what Rockham is, it basically has been the answer to CUDA on AMD GPUs. So CUDA is, is the framework that basically all of AI runs on. So anytime you're running AI on a GPU or you're training AI, it's using CUDA on an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, and that has really put a hinder on people with AMD graphics cards and AMD as a company because it means that they have been pretty much been missing out on the whole AI hype train of the last couple years and we've had rock on we've had hip but there's problems with it and you have to change the code and you have to run linux and, or you have to run windows subsystem for linux and it's just it's just a mess but now you don't have to change any of the code you just have to use this drop-in replacement for cuda and you can run almost any cuda application so that could be anything from games to blender to ai to rendering anything like that it actually started off as a project that one guy made for enabling CUDA support on Intel graphics cards, which is really crazy because those have only been out for what, like a year? I don't know, like they're very, very new. And it was supposed to be a CUDA implementation for Intel graphics. It was discontinued, but AMD actually reached out to this guy and contracted him to adapt his Z Luda um, to use on AMD GPUs. And he has spent the last two years bringing Z Luda to AMD GPUs. And it works for a lot of different CUDA applications without any modifications to the software. So this means that anytime that you see AI on GitHub that you wanna try out, you know, maybe it's a new large language model that comes out, you should be able to run it on your AMD graphics card, which is totally not been the case for a long time for most applications for some reason amd decided to discontinue funding this which kind of sounds like a huge mistake to me but and this is a big but there was a clause in the contract that he could open source the work which is almost as good as uh amd funding it because now the entire internet huge nerds will have a field day with this and i think this will be the main way that amd graphics cards will run basically anything especially ai as you can see here uh opencl is what amd graphics cards usually use for stuff like rendering and 3d modeling and video games and even ai and z luda actually outperforms in a lot of these different scenarios these are mostly you know particle physics uh, depth of field stuff in video games but this is also applies highly to ai and I, I think ai is an even bigger deal for this i mean this is i can't stress enough how big of a deal this is most ai models have just not been able to run on amd gpus and if they do run on amd gpus you have to run it in linux on ubuntu and you have to do all you have to jump through all these hoops you have to change the code and it's just a big mess but now there's literally a drop-in replacement for the CUDA libraries it's open source right now so I will link all the articles in the description and I will link the github in the description and as you can see here it says it works on a variety of CUDA applications like Blender and 
Geekbench apparently, and Waifu2x, which I know is a upscaler. So now you can run that on your GPU. This whole time I've been running local large language models on my CPU because I have an AMD graphics card and I just haven't been able to run these language models on my GPU but now this is a real possibility um, that you can do this in Windows and it looks like it's actually fairly simple. I haven't actually tried it out yet but it looks like you run Zluda and then you just kind of pass the application that you're trying to run as an argument in Zluda and then you just kind of run it as normal the application arguments. So this looks extremely simple to use and very very drop in and modular very excited for this i'm going to try it out and make a video and show you guys how to actually use this once it actually starts uh, picking out some steam i'm not seeing like any media coverage for this for some reason but i, I don't think people how realize how big of a deal this is this kind of changes everything in the entire ai landscape this means that nvidia doesn't have such a huge competitive advantage over AMD. NVIDIA has basically had no competition at all when it comes to AI and other GPU workloads. And this completely changes the game. This could make it so that the premium over AMD cards that NVIDIA has had will not be quite the premium anymore. And I have a feeling that anyone that has held on to their AMD GPUs is going to be quite happy in the near future. So I will keep you guys updated. If you want to get the latest scoop, I highly recommend you click the subscribe button, the notification bell, and join our Discord. The link is in the description, and that is where you will get the most up-to-date news on this sort of AMD GPU AI stuff. So thank you for watching. That is pretty much it, and I hope you have a great day.